All right, so here's where I am today. Went ahead and uh, stopped the other night. Well, I didn't completely stop. I got some other stuff done. You know, I got the uh, coil pack and all that stuff mounted up. Uh, my new radiator came in, so I have to make some new brackets for this because it has the same mounting locations, and it'll kind of sort of fit in the same location. Uh, it's a except it's a slightly thicker core. So one of the problems I'm having is, yeah, I, I don't know why I put that bong right there. I should have had it clocked over a little bit. But anyways, uh, with the thicker core and the fan shroud on it, it puts it right up against the downpipe where it used to be. So I'm going to have to tuck it further over towards the driver's side, which I didn't really want to do because you can see just how much of that thin surface is going to be pretty much completely blocked from any type of airflow. I mean, it's not entirely blocked but you know it's not ideal like it was before where the entire core was exposed in the behind the intercooler so I'm going to gain some capacity but I'm going to lose some airflow so I'm not sure how it's gonna work out but uh, we'll see what we'll see what works we'll see what happens um, yeah just got some things to tidy up and I'm probably not going to do too much filming because I want to make sure I get everything right. You know, I don't want to screw something up. So, sorry for not filming the entire process, but it's really tedious and there's a lot of things to go over and I don't want to have to worry about making sure the camera is in focus, you know. <laughs> so, alright. So I guess uh, what I'll start with is uh, getting the intercooler off so that I can remount these brackets for this radiator and probably painting the shroud since it looks like shit since I dumped acid on it alright so I went ahead and got a little OCD Oops. and I've decided I was just gonna make some little tabs that I can weld right onto the car that way I can uh, lower the radiator in the engine bay and get it exactly where I want it. So, that's what I'm up to. Alright, so after uh, some planning, I went ahead and I welded um, some tabs in to hold the radiator. Um, this one was apparently welded in, you know, this guy was welded in from the previous owner. I guess he was running a half radiator. Uh, yeah, no comment on that one. But then you can see the uh, this guy's still hot, so I might untouch it. But that guy is the one I just welded in. So I just need to spray a little paint on there, keep it from rusting. I've got these little bushings that I've milled in. These little bushings that I've milled down. Fit in there, kind of. And that'll hold the bottom of the radiator. Alright, so this radiator hose is uh, a little bit shorter because the radiator used to be here. I had to move it over here, so what I did was so what I did was found this uh, piece of pipe. It's for some type of plumbing, but it's stainless, so it'll work. 
I'm just going to use this to extend this hose down here. Obviously, I'm going to need to put the turbo on there in the downpipe so that I don't put stuff in the wrong spot. All right, so you can kind of see how close everything is there, especially with that damn near resting on the downpipe. It's just going to have to be the way that it is unless I can find another, like an, a weird S-bend or something. So when I had the car together before, I had some cooling issues, uh, you know, particularly after a pull. pull. Particular, particularly after a pull, I'd see temps you know, rapidly climb and it took a really long time for them to go back down. I feel like um, probably what the problem was was having this big giant glowing ball of metal um, and then having a three inch intercooler and then the bumper and not not really optimum airflow. Um, you know, cause it's a lot easier for the fan to just suck air from the engine bay around and through the core than it is for it to suck air through the intercooler, through the bumper and whatnot. So um, what I'm going to do is I found this uh, copper coated aluminum panel. I was just looking for aluminum, but Home Depot was all out of just plain, plain aluminum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, um, let's make a barrier, you know. I can probably actually screw right into the radiator since this isn't like water or anything. This is just support. But I'll probably just cut, you know, cut this to fit and just make a little kind of air dam deal. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. Got the, uh, I mean, yeah, it probably looks a little hokey. But basically, I just uh, made some shrouding to go around the radiator to help separate the radiator from the engine bay so that, uh, you know, when the fan's running, it's not just sucking engine bay air around the radiator and back into it. It's actually pulling it from the front. No idea if that's really going to help anything, but be worth a shot. oil I'm using is like it's the cheapest oil I could find because I'm only going to run this for uh, maybe about 50 miles and then drain it and then All right, so right now uh, I'm just gonna try and prime the engine. I'm just gonna crank it over. ECU's not connected, so there's no fuel, there's no spark. I'm just gonna crank it over and get oil pressure through it before I actually try and start it. All right, so here's my gauges, and hopefully I see some some pressure build up. not because my stupid gauges are stupid. Yeah, I guess that's a dilemma. 
gauges turn off while cranking. Alright, so apparently the way I have my gauges wired is um, they turn off while the car is cranking. So, I can't get a reading on oil pressure. I'll just keep cranking until I get oil coming out of the turbo. That should be pressurized. Alright, so quick update. I uh, went to start the car and uh, the injectors just started leaking around the uh, fuel rail. So when I got some new O-rings, they seem like they're probably not going to work. They're a little loose, but I'm going to give it a shot. Hopefully that's it. If it is, then we can start it. If not, I'm going to have to uh, wait till I can order the appropriate O-rings. Alright, so, injectors are still leaking. But I've gotten it down to, it seems like it's stopped. I'm gonna have to order some new O-rings, but I'm still gonna try and start it because it seems like it stopped leaking, so. Let's see what happens. The good news is it started. The bad news is it appears to be raining in my garage. Uh, also, well, you can't see out there, but the water is up to my cars. Apparently, there's a tropical depression that's hovering over Florida right now. So it's not too stormy, it's not too windy, but it's just dropping a crap ton of rain and my leaky roof isn't happy and my neighborhood that's prone to flooding isn't very happy yeah, this is uh... this is fun well, let's go ahead and go for another start i'll check oil pressure and i'll check the timing So it's running, uh, it looks like I got the timing off, the timing belt's jumping all over the place, so, yeah, gotta figure that out.
So apparently the timing wasn't off. And again, me gonna die. Apparently the timing wasn't off. Um, the timing boat was just loose and way, 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 way retarded. And in case you're wondering, the exhaust is not hooked up. That's why it's so fucking loud. So yeah, um, there it is. Car's running. Uh, next step is get it completely back together. I've got to redo the alignment since I had the steering rack out. So I'll probably do a video on doing a driveway alignment. That might be kind of interesting. Um, it needs to be retuned. Uh, the, surprisingly, uh, the tune's way off. It's running like super duper lean now. Um, probably because when the engine wasn't refreshed with the old rings, it was probably running on crankcase vapors and oil and whatnot, so um, I think that was kind of compensating for some of the fuel in the tables, because it's super lean now. So, gotta retune it, probably do a video on tuning it, uh, maybe give you guys a walkthrough on Mega Squirt and Tuner Studio. That's gonna be tedious, I gotta have to write a script for that one. There's a there's a lot of a lot of information to to go over in that. So yeah, um until next time.